Hello, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Hey, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Hey, because you asked a good question. Why are we serving Christianity today? You know, why is everybody a Christian? And here's the answer. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64. Bring it out. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. So, do you believe we've been scattered throughout this earth through slavery? We came over here on slave ships, right? They brought us out, out throughout South America, the islands, right here. So we've been scattered all over the earth, right? And there shalt thou shalt serve other gods. We'll do what? And there thou shalt serve other gods. Please. There you go, there you go, your Christianity. Watch this, read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Uh -huh. Even wood. Even what? Even wood. The wood represents uh, the cross, which is what religion? What, what, what religion wears the cross? Bring it out. Christianity. There you go, your Christianity, read. Even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. Stone represents the Kaaba stone, which the Muslims pray around. Bring it out. Islam. So the two biggest cults on earth that we would follow would be Christianity and Islam. Right. And right, hey, he was bringing out, hold this for a second. He was bringing out the color of Christ. What color is Christ? I can't tell. Oh, brother, Bring guess it what? Today, the Bible said you're going to uh, know the truth and the truth is going to set you free. Right. That's right. We're going to free your mind from the lies of the white man. That's, That's right. right. So read it out. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hands were white like wool. So the hair on his head and the hair on his face was wool in texture and white in color. Now who on earth got woolly hair? A black man, yeah. Right. That's, That's right. Really, you know, woolly hair. His hair of Negro. Right? So he's letting you know right off the muscle who this hair belonged to. Read. As white as snow. So it was fully gray. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Meaning the whites of his eyes was red. Because his first miracle, he turned water to what? Bring it out. He turned water to wine. You know, he drank wine moderately. Right. So when we drink, usually our eyes turn what? Red. Right, read. And his feet. So guess what? If you didn't have them socks on, I guarantee you your feet going to be the same color as the rest of your body, right? Right. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Brown. That's right. Let's find out how dark this brown was. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they what? As if they burn in a furnace. You burn anything, what color is it? It turned black. He was a very dark skinned black man. That's right. right. You understand? So, guess what? We were scattered over here in slavery, and there we'll serve other gods. Right. Give me 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. Right up. Let's, see, let's see what happened. Because, you know, hey, our people knew. Christ was a black man. Right. They knew there was Israelites in this I, Bible. Right. You understand? But it hit. Once we got here, what? Two or three hundred years, we could not read or write. Right. right. Bring it out. So guess what happened? Watch this. Read. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Uh huh. No. For if he that cometh preach of another Jesus. So guess what? The white man came and was preaching another Jesus. Read. Whom we have not preached. Because guess what? Our forefathers didn't preach a white Jesus. Right. You understand? They Because this is what they gave us right here. We didn't know this Jesus. We knew the black Messiah. Right. You understand? So if he that come and preaches another Jesus. Bring it out. Or if 
we receive another spirit. Because guess what? We didn't receive the spirit of this Bible, which is God's laws. We was told that, hey, God's laws is done away with. Right. Come as you are. Bring it out. You know, that the church doesn't require us to change. No, it right. doesn't require us to walk in the ways of God. That's right. So guess what? We're walking in sin. God does not hear our prayers when we commit sin. Right. That's you right. You understand? That's why we stay in the bottom. That's why we stay getting shot down in the streets. That's, That's right. That's why the white men stay ruling over us. Bring it Bring it because out. our God does not fight for us when we're breaking his law. Right. It's as simple as that. Read. Which he have not received. Uh-huh. Or another gospel. Another what? Another gospel. You know what that other gospel is? That everybody can be saved. Bring it out. Right. That hey, that Jesus came and died for everyone. That's right. That you ain't got to keep the Sabbath. Right. That you ain't got to keep God's law. Right. You know what? That's another gospel. The Bible has laws that hey, we must abide by. That's right. Like, you have any children? Guess what? Do you give your children rules? What happens when they don't follow your rules? They don't get that butt toe up, ain't right. Guess what we getting toe up today? Right. That's when, right. we, when we out in these streets getting shot down, we getting toe up today. Right. So I got a question to all y'all. Uh -huh. Do y'all feel like, first of all, let me tell you how my experience, you know what I'm saying? I believe in Jesus Christ, you feel me? I, trust me, I am, I am a guy, you know what I mean? Right, guess what? You know where that comes from? That comes from the Bible, give me Psalms 82. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna show you that, hey, God said you are God on this earth. Right. 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 But we got to learn how to walk right. like one. Right. That's like right. Read. Psalms chapter 82, verse 6. Read. Yep. I have said, ye are God. He said what? I have said, ye are God. How we niggas. Ye are God. He called us gods on this earth. That's, That's right. right. You understand? Because guess what? Our Father gave us laws and commandments to give us wisdom to rule over all men. Right. You understand? Read. And all of you are children of the Most High. We are the children. When he say all of you, he's talking about these 12 tribes. The blacks, the Spanish, Native Americans. Right. We make up the 12 tribes right. of the children of Israel. That's right. 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 Verse 7. But ye shall die like men. We're going to do what? But ye shall die like men. That's what we're doing. We out here dying in these streets like men. Right. Because we've forgotten that we are the gods of this earth. Right. We've right. forgotten that we are the Israelites, God's chosen people. Right. We've forgotten that because guess what? This lie right here. This lie right, right here makes us want to love our enemy and be like our enemy. Right. Read Proverbs 3 and 31. Bring yeah, it out, we want to be like them in all things. We want to celebrate their holidays, right. their 4th of July, right. their Christmases, right. their right. Easter. Right. We want to be like them in every single way. Right. Right. And guess what? They wicked as hell in every That's single way. Right. Read. Right. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Read Envy thou not the oppressor. Say, envy thou not the oppressor. Read. And choose none of his ways. And choose what? And choose none of his ways. We don't supposed to choose any of the ways that they follow. We're right. supposed to come back to the Most High God. That's you right. understand? We got to follow the ways that the Most High God gave us. We got to follow his laws. We got to, I'm going to give you a simple law that, hey, you can follow. Because the Most High told us, let your light shine before men. They should know that you're keeping God's law. You know what I'm saying? They should be able to look at you and see, you know what? That brother's a righteous brother. Hey. You know what? So you say you believe in God? Hey, give me a... Um, yeah. I want to see because, you know what? Love is an action. Couldn't no woman tell you that, hey, she loved you? Didn't run the streets, now could she? So guess what? You can't tell you believe in God, you love God without an action behind it. Hey, that's right. right. You understand? So let's see if you love God. Bring it out. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Bring it out. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Let's start at verse 1 so we can let him in the context of the story. Verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Uh huh. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. So keep the ordinances of God as they deliver to you. So guess what? We're going to get ready to give you some orders of God. Read. Verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man should be Christ. Right. You know what? Every man here, we know that his head is Christ. Read. Right. And the head of the woman is the man. And guess what? The head of the woman is the man. Ain't no, it ain't no 50-50. The man is the head. That's right. Hey, we got to come back and get in order. Hey, our women got to get in order. Jeez. Read. And the head of Christ is God. So the head of Christ is who? It is God. So guess what? That's the order. God, Christ, man, woman, children. Right. You understand? Read. Verse 4. 
every man praying or prophesying. Guess what? We're prophesying right now. So every man praying or prophesying, if you're hearing this prophecy, what? Having his head covered. Having his head covered. Dishonor his head. He dishonor who? His head. So when you have your hat on while these scriptures are coming out, guess what you do? You dishonor Christ. So what should you do? Oh, oh praise him. Oh, you know what that's called? Repentance. Right. That's the first act of repentance to show the most how you know what? Hey, I've sinned. And you know what? I want to get right. Right. That's the simple Teach. step. And guess what? That's what our people need to do. They need to come off their high horses, come off their pride, and say, you know what? I've done wickedly. Look at our people. Look at the state of our people. And we think we good. You know what I'm saying? We try to give out a bring people to this truth and they say what? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Sir, I got a question. Back to my question for y'all. So do y'all feel that this is, this is heaven? Nah. Watch this. Heaven is a condition of Listen, we have different types of heaven. You got heaven where the most high dwell, you got heaven in the sky, and you got rulership. Right now, are we in rulership? I'm saying right now, I say, are we in rulership? That's the question I'm asking. Right now, if you was ruling, would you put your home in the projects? If you was ruling, would you put the white man over you? That's called hell. That's right. So we in hell right now. You understand? Bring it up. Read that. Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 13. Bring it out. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. So guess what? Our people went in captivity. Read. Because they have no knowledge. Because they have no what? No knowledge. They have no knowledge. They don't know God's laws. Read. Right. And their honorable men are famished. Uh huh. And their mouths so dried up with thirst. Read. Therefore, hell has enlarged herself. What, ha what happened? Hell has enlarged herself. Our people went in captivity, and what happened? Hell has enlarged herself. So you understand that? When we went in captivity, hell enlarged herself. See? Guess what? This is our hell. This is our hell, and this is their heaven. Because the white man right now is in rulership. So guess what? The magic question is, how do we come up out of here? Right, you got a very important job, which is to, if he's calling himself a minister, leading the congregation, well guess what? There's certain things as a minister he must teach. So I want you to understand something, sis. Hey, God's destruction is gonna start with our pastors. You understand that? Read that. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. Bring it out. Whoa! Be unto the pastors. Oh, stop right there. Sis, do you know what the word woe means? I told you. Destruction. Right. Destruction. Read that. Whoa! Be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Guess what he's done to these children? He done started destroying them, scattering them. Because guess what they did? They saw another Christ. They saw another God, and the one that looked like them, they said he was the devil. Right. You understand? He's already destroying them at a young age. So guess what? If he was destroying them at a young age, what is he doing to the rest of the congregation? Bring it out. Read it from the top again. Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 1. Whoa, be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. He said destruction to those pastors. Continue reading. Saith the Lord. Uh-huh. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. Read. Ye have scattered my flock. And that's what didn't happen. Look around us. All these pastors have destroyed and scattered God's sheep. Because none of these people are serving the Most High God. Bring it out. Read. And driven them away. They did what? Driven them away. So now we have, guess what? The word of God is going out. Now people don't want to hear the word of God. Thank you, thank the most high that you hear right now. Read. And have not visited them. Uh-huh. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing. God's gonna do what? I will visit upon you the evil of your doing. So guess what? If your husband Not doesn't yet. repent, he doesn't change, he doesn't examine himself to see if he's following this truth, guess what? The Most High is going to visit him. You understand? Bring it out. Guess what? We don't want that amongst our people. Good. We want with all our people to repent. That's so right. guess what? Give me First Kings chapter 8. That's right, because that's the main thing. So you got a chance to repent. You got a chance to show him. 
if he don't want to, hey, listen, you got to choose who you're going to follow. You understand? You got to choose who you're going to follow. Because today is your holy wake-up call. You say you've been watching, you've been studying. Did you get him to watch and study? Did he, did he watch? He watched a few of y'all, what y'all had going on. Did he believe? Yeah. Did he go back to church on Sunday? Yeah. He didn't believe. That's right. Right. He, he, he didn't believe. He went right back on Sunday. He didn't believe. Bring it up. Read that. First Kings, chapter eight, verse forty-six. Uh -huh. If they sin against thee, no. If they sin against thee, read. For well, there is no man that sinneth not. Hey, listen, we all sin against the Most High. Right. For we heard this truth, we was in the midst of all manner of sin. That's right. Read. And now be angry with them. And the most high was angry with us. Read. And deliver them to the enemy. We was delivered what? To the enemy. We've been delivered to our enemy. Read. So that they carry them away, captives, unto the land of the enemy. Guess what, sis? That's what happened to us here in slavery. We've been carried away into the land of our enemy. Read. Far or near. Uh-huh. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. If you shall remember who you are. That you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You understand? Not African American, not a Christian, but an Israelite. Remember who you are. Good. Stand up for who you are. Most High named you Israel. You understand? Bring it out. He gave you that name. That's right. Come back to who you are. Read. In the land, whether they were carried captives, and do what? And repent. And do what? Repent. And do what? Repent. Since you gotta repent, your husband must repent. You understand? Read. And make supplication unto me uh -huh. in the land of them that carried them captives. I'm saying what? Saying, we have sinned uh -huh. and have done perversely. We have done what? Perversely. We've sinned and done perversely, sis. Everything that we did in that Christian church, we sinned. Everything that we follow in this society is perverse. So guess what? We got to turn away from those. Read. We have committed wickedness. That's all we've done. Our people have been in the midst of wickedness, hey, and we love dwelling in it. Read. And so return unto thee uh -huh. with all their heart. So you're going to have to return to the Most High with all your heart, sis. Hey, the time of watching it on, on the internet is over. Guess what? Now it's time to come in. That's now right. It's, now it's time to come in. Give me Hebrews 10 26. Bring it up. Now it's time to come in. Because guess what? Most High brought you up in front of the men of the Most High. And guess what? This is going to be a testimony to you. You understand? You gotta choose, you know what? Tomorrow is the Saturday. Guess what we're gonna be? 1823 Greg Street. That's right. right. With the doors open at 4 o'clock, waiting to see you walk through with your family. That's right. right. Bring that up. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully. If we do what? Sin willfully. Uh huh. After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. You don't heard the knowledge of the truth. You don't heard going to church on the Sabbath is a sin. On Sunday is a sin. You understand, sis? Everything that's been taught in that church is a sin. Good. Bring it out. Read. There remaineth no more sacrifices for sin. No more sacrifices. Christ, hey, that means, hey, that means Christ's life has meant nothing to you. That's what that means. So, sis, hey, you gotta come back to the side, God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.